Greetings and welcome to the Fan Perspective. I am your host Nathan Lyle and this is WNBA Weekly, the show where twice a week, usually on Mondays and Fridays, I will talk about things that happened recently in the association and a few things I'm looking forward to in the upcoming days. So some of the biggest news storylines from the past few days, we have the LA Sparks, congratulations, they finally got a win on the season and it only took them nine games. Then you also have the two longest winning streaks in the league, the Connecticut Sun, who had won seven straight, and the Tosa Shot, who had won eight straight. You know, those both coming to an end, and now both of those teams have lost two in a row. Elena Deladon, she actually missed a free throw. Do you know how long it's been since that happened? My jaw actually dropped. She had made 58 consecutive free throws. She was eight shy of the league's all-time record. But... Eh, doesn't matter, they still won. I don't think she's really bugged by it. She'll have plenty more chances to break that record. And then some of the biggest news, possibly the biggest news, is just that, wow, t uh, unfortunately for to the Tulsa Shock, Skylar Diggins, she is going to miss the remainder of the season with a torn ACL. And I feel bad for her. She's an amazing playmaker, one of my favorites to watch. And the Shock have been doing so amazingly well. And they are now winless without her in the lineup. And you know, already p now piling that onto their already injured roster, you've got you know, Glory Johnson already sitting out the re rest of the season. Odyssey Sims went down early with her leg injury. And now, you know, Skylar Diggins, who is in the running for MVP, you know. I, the Shock are going to struggle, and honestly, as of right now, it looks like it could be another 12-win season. I mean, the consolation is that, you know, Odyssey Sims, hopefully she'll be able to get healthy and she'll return to action, and maybe they'll still be able to hang on to, like, that fourth playoff spot because I need them in the playoffs. Can you imagine what Tulsa will be look like if they end up missing the postseason and they end up in the lottery and they somehow win the lottery and end up getting that first overall pick? That's not even fair. That is just so unfair. And if, what if they don't even use that number one pick? They just trade it away. What would they get in that trade? That's even worse to think about. I need Tulsa to be in the playoffs this year. So, Odyssey, come back soon. You know, Williams, man, I got nothing but love for you, man. Get this done. I need y'all in the playoffs this year, okay? Please. And so, with all that said, let's move on to some of the games being played this week. It's 4th of July weekend. Hope you got some plans. I live in Texas. My plan is to just walk around, wander into some stray barbecues, because every backyard you pass, is gonna, they're going to be something on the grill. So anyways, they don't, there are no games on Saturday. There are two games on Friday, two games on Sunday. On Friday, you've got Seattle at Minnesota at 8 p.m. And Minnesota now with Tulsa, they're in their free fall, so they've got a chance to really... They're already in first place, but they can really put a few wins together, take a stranglehold on that first place. And then you've got Tulsa at Los Angeles. Both of these teams, they're just... They're, po they're going in opposite directions. L.A. started off the season so poorly... But their starters have been coming back. Neca returned from injury. Tolliver returned from overseas. Phillips missed some games with injury, but she was back in the starting lineup. You know, they're getting healthier. They're playing better. They finally got a win. The Tulsa, on the other hand, they keep losing players, and now they've started to struggle after their amazing start. So, yeah, this looks like it could be two in a row for L.A. And then on Sunday, you've got Seattle at Atlanta at 3 p.m. And then you've got Phoenix at Los Angeles at 5 p.m. And, you know, that Phoenix at L.A. game could be interesting because you've got two teams that look like they're playing some of their best basketball of the season right now. So that might be fun to watch. And you know, Brittany Griner, she almost had a triple-double this week. Almost. Not quite. And then... Yeah, L.A., I mean, they look like they could make it two in a row. Is there a chance they can make it three in a row? Who knows? Home team advantage and all that. So, yeah, this could be a very exciting week of basketball. So, you know, don't fit. So check out those games if you can. You know, check your local listing to see if they're played in your area. If not, you can watch every single one of those games on WNBA Live Access. And, other, and until Monday, I'm Nathan Lyle. This has been the Fan Perspective. You know, 
have a great weekend. Enjoy this 4th of July celebration. Get some good barbecue. Get plenty of your hot dogs down. And just, you know, enjoy your weekend. Unless you're working. In which case, I know the pain, bro. Know that pain. It feels.